So on a Mac, the terminal is the shell that we use to access commands from the command line. Now several shells are available on a Mac, but uh, we will be using the Bash shell only. Now the Bash shell is very popular and is the default shell on a Mac. So you should be able to use another shell with minimal changes to what you see me doing in this video if for some reason you don't want to use Bash. Now obviously we've used the terminal previously in this course when we actually uh, went in and uh, accessed help and uh, also when we set up the name and email address. We're going to go through and uh, basically set it up so it's optimized uh, for Git. So let's make a start on that now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is open a terminal session. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're in our home folder, which we should be, but we can type cd space tilde, then we can type pwd just to confirm we're in a user's uh, home folder, which I am. Now what I'm going to do is download a, a particularly useful script that uh, enables uh, us to use git quite efficiently and just makes things a little bit easier to see. So the command to type to download the script is curl, C-U-R-L, space, minus, capital O, then HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, raw, dot, to github, user content, dot com, slash git, slash git again, slash master, slash contrib, slash completion, slash git dash prompt, now this uh, link will be available in the resources section of this video, so you don't have to memorize it, you can just sort of copy that and then paste in the, the uh, link uh, into your terminal session directly. So if I press enter there, you can see it's attempting to download that file, and uh, in actual fact it's downloaded it. Now if we have a look now, by typing ls, we can see that we've got a git-prompt.sh showing on the screen there now. So what we want to do now is we want to associate this file so that it's executed every time we start up a shell. So what we need to do is we need to open a file, a file called bashrc. And this is a file that's read uh, every time you open the uh, terminal. So now that we've established we're in the home folder, we're going to type vi space dot bashrc. Now you might, have, might find that either this file will be empty or it may have some file contents in it. In my case, I've got nothing in it, so it's going to create a new file. But if you've got some contents in it, then the commands that you want to add, you should add to the bottom of the file. But in my case, because it's new, I'm going to just type it at the top. So I'm going to press the I command, which is what uh, puts the VI editor into insert mode, and I can start typing commands. So I press I, and the commands I want to type firstly is the dot space tilde slash git dash prompt dot sh. So that's going to start that prompt that we download, the uh, shell script for git prompt every time we start the shell. Then we need to type export and git, make sure you type it in the same case and uh, you type it exactly like this, git underscore ps1 underscore show dirty state equals one. And then the last line we need to type is export ps1 equals single quote square bracket, backslash u, at, backslash h, space, backslash capital W, the dollar sign, then want to left parentheses, then we want to type underscore, underscore git, underscore, ps1, then we want a space, double quote, a space, have you got all this? <laughs> uh, left parentheses, percent s, right parentheses, double quote, right parentheses, right square brackets, nearly done here, backslash dollar, a space, and then closing off the single quote. Now this uh, line will also be in the resources section of this video, so just in case you don't want to type that or you think you might get it wrong, you can refer to that as well, because you will find that you get some funny results if you don't type it exactly like that. So I'm going to press enter again there, then I'm going to press escape, the escape, the escape button, then I'm going to hold down, or I'm going to press a colon, not a semicolon, a colon, the two dots. And this time instead of pressing Q like I did in a previous video, I'm going to type X, which is uh, the shortcut for saving this file. So we're going to save this file that uh, we've just created or updated. And you can see briefly on the screen it said uh, the file was written. And we can confirm that it was written by typing cat space dot bash rc. And you can see that uh, it's showing us the contents of that file. 
Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what I've just done there, but essentially what we've done is we've configured Git to show us various states uh, of a Git, Git repository that will come into play a little bit later. And towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you uh, a sample of what this output ultimately is gonna give us. But the final thing we need to do is uh, we need to open a file and add our script to that file. So we're gonna type in vi, vi again, space, tilde slash dot bash underscore profile. Now same deal here with this file. It may exist like it does in my case because the file was created when I installed Python or it might be a new file. If it's a new file, you can just press I and start typing. But in the case of an existing file, just use your arrow keys to go down to the bottom. Then press the dollar sign, which goes to, goes to the end of the line. Type an A, a lowercase a, which is, goes into append mode and press enter. And from there we can actually start typing some commands. And the command that we need to add is source space tilde slash dot bash rc. I'll press enter there, press escape, type a colon, press x, or enter x and press enter, and that's saved our changes. So what I'm gonna do is do an exit there, to close that down, and start the terminal up again. And noting that uh, the actual uh, prompt here has changed a little bit, but that's going to change a little bit more as we uh, start uh, using more git commands. But for now I want to swim back to the slides just to finish off and give you a sample of what it's going to look like. Alright, so once we get going, this is a sample on screen of what we can expect to see in Bash when using git on a Mac. Now the screenshot that I've got there is from the Windows git bash terminal, but uh, the output you see will be very similar on a Mac. Now you may have a white background, but uh, the various uh, commands here will be showing that are appropriate for a Git repository. And I'm gonna be talking about these various things like the uh, the plus sign, the master, and uh, you know the Git branch name, what all that means in future videos. For now, what we've done is we've set things up to make it a lot easier for us to be able to use Git. All right, so that's the Mac video. So if you haven't got a Linux machine, you can actually skip the next video because that's showing you how to configure what we've done here on a Linux machine. So if that's the case, just skip onto the video after that one but if you have got a Linux machine as well, then do watch the next video because I'm going to show you how to do what we've done on a Mac on a Linux machine. So I'll see you in the next video.